This is the Bosch Chantillon Barasque. It is a tier 8 French premium medium, and it is one of the most dangerous tier 8 in the game. Even in a tier 10, this vehicle is pretty dang busted due to the fact that it can deal 720 damage in two seconds. Yeah, you heard that right. Not only can it deal that damage in two seconds, but it has fairly okay DPM at 2000. The vehicle's very mobile. It features very similar camo values to light takes. It's kind of insane. Unfortunately, as of right now, I don't have the field modifications upgraded, so I can't put two equipment loadouts on this vehicle. Normally, I would do a spotting loadout and I would do a damage loadout, just like I did for my Char MLE. But the nice thing is that this vehicle can and carry the same crew as my Char, so that's literally what I did. I put my Char MLE crew in this tank and called it a day. So here we are on mines. Personally, I don't like mines that much. In fact, it's probably one of my least favorite maps because it is very, very luck-based whether you're going to get up that hill without losing a lot of health. Now, looking at the enemy team, they got a Udez, they got an Obsidian, they have an Iron Arnie, but they don't have anything that's too fast. So I'm going to try and uh get up the hill i'm gonna see it all go hill all right i'm gonna see if i can get up the hill it's a bit of a sussler a bit of a sussler thing but as you can see we are very very fast so we'll see full speed ahead i mean if worst comes to worst our ebr will get nuked and uh, we'll be okay so let's see enemy ebr is going for it and there's one shell into his vehicle and Oh, unfortunate. Alrighty, well, um, we're alright as of now. We just chill here. It's just very unfortunate that our shell did end up missing him there. Okay, let's just chill in this position, and our Lorraine is able to get the clear. Okay, well, let's reload. We got two more seconds, and I could really care less if this judo hits me. There's one shell, two shells, and, uh, yeah, I think he lost a bit more health than we did. Let's repair our ammo rack, and, uh... Well, let's reload again. So we've already dealt a thousand damage. Not too bad, especially because we uh, kind of nuked that judo. Let's see if we can get over here and uh, maybe get some shells into the rear of the Nomad or something like that. Let's see. We got the Nomad. There's one shell into his tank. Bye! 526 damage into his vehicle, and he's a goner. Okay, 1600 damage dealt, and we're going to reload in 12 more seconds. I think you can start to see why the Barask is kind of OP. I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out this tank's damage capabilities are kind of stupid. So, we got the Type 63 off to the side, and hmm, let's see, is he going to keep moving up? Looked like he is. There you go. That was a little stupid, but that's alright. We got the second shell out for 360. Yeah, our first shell did not like us there, I will admit that. Okay, let's reload. We got 10 more seconds left. The reload just doesn't feel long on this tank. Like, after driving, you know, vehicles that have really long reloads, like the Char MLE, uh, this tank just doesn't feel bad on the DPM at all. It's kind of insane. Oh god, no, don't want to fall off. We did spot the Super Hellcat, though. We also spotted the Artie. We bounced him once. There you go. We got the Artie. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, well, that's great. We don't have to deal with that anymore at all. All right, so we know the Super Hellcat's in the back. I wonder if we can spot anybody uh, over here. Let's see. Let's see. Well... I hope we didn't get spotted from that. We did. That's actually rather unfortunate. Okay, well, I'm going to see if we can get some shells into the uh, Type 63, possibly. I feel like that's some free damage we can go for. So let's maneuver our tank on up. And he was last spotted right there. There you go. Okay, well, we also can just bonk the uh, IS-3. So there's one shell into his vehicle. Two shells. 741 damage dealt. And we back up. So we're up to 3,000 damage now. And all we've done is just farm. Farm and farm and farm. This is why getting the hill is obviously very, very important in a vehicle like this. But it's just so stupid. It really is. Like, now we got the uh, type in the back, and we reload. Come on, back your tank up just a little bit. That's all you gotta do. Little bit. I don't even care about the obsidian as of right now. Oh, come on. He's so close. You know, I'm gonna go for it. Unfortunate. I'll go one more shot. Nah, neither of those hit. Rather sag. But it's alright. At least we got him tracked, so we're going to get some assistance damage for that. Okay. At this point, I'm going to just drive off. Uh, I don't actually know where to drive off of Mines Hill. Actually, I don't know if we can. 
I'm so used to uh, Blitz where you can get off the hill that, well, I guess we'll just finish off the uh, enemy there. Will the Super Hellcat poke? No. The Nomad's basically screwed. Okay. Well, I can't really complain. Not a bad result at all. 3,105 damage and 513 dealt. Can you get off this hill? Nah, that looks like death. I didn't realize that. I don't really go for the hill normally, so I don't, uh, I don't usually, you know, do that at all. Normally in my Char, for example, I'll go over towards the, uh, light, the lighthouse and I'll chill over there just because I'm worried that I'm going to be nuked. But that was a pretty good game, so not a bad first result at all for our vehicle. And we made a lot of credits. We didn't even shoot any premium rounds, so we made 101,000 credits and... Got 30 bonds, sweet. Let's do another game. Here we are, game number two. Another pretty solid matchup. Also, I keep forgetting to move my camera over here, like every time. I mean, at least on mines, it doesn't really matter because uh, the map's so small. You don't really need to worry about what's spotted. Uh, but on this map, it's definitely going to matter. I also wish I was running my spotting loadout because that definitely would have helped here. But, that is alright. We are going to play like a tank destroyer. I mean, that's kind of what the Brask is. It's a mobile tank destroyer. It's a vehicle you're gonna put in a little aggressive of a spot, bonk, bonk, back in the cover, leave, reposition. It's, it's honestly better than a tank destroyer, though. Because why drive a TD that doesn't have mobility, that doesn't have a fully traversable turret, when you can drive this, which does, and has better camo values at the same time. Uh, it's so dumb. Alright, so let's see... I'm going to start this game off fairly aggressive, because it's all tier 8. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way up here to this spot in front. And we're going to see if I can get some shells out. Hopefully we don't get YOLO'd, but that's kind of the big hope always when you're playing on the NA server. Let's see, we got the ELC off to the side. And not able to hit him, but that's alright. We're just going to chill right here for now. We've spotted the enemy G-Sor. There's one shell into his vehicle. Two shells into his tank, and there's 753 of his health. We're in the Barask! Whoa! <laughs> oh, my rat. This tank is so dumb. Alright, well, let's just uh, maneuver our way back on up this hill. And plop right back in this bush. There you go. Got the G-Sor spotted. Got the ELC spotted. I'm gonna back down this hill for now. Oh, they have two ELCs. I just realized that. That's the cringest thing I've seen in a while. Alright, well, hmm... I don't really think there's much I can do against an ELC in that spot, so as of right now, I'm pretty tempted to just not bother. Oh, already shooting at us. Crazy, crazy stuff. We should be alright though if we, uh, if we wait here for a little bit. I'm not going to fix my crew because I think that's a waste. We got the Astron off to the side. Will we get spotted if we try to poke up this? That's the question. Let's find out. Are we detected? Probably? Yes, we are. Okay. So, as of right now, I think it's a waste of time to bother with that. We are just going to leave. Goodbye. Okay. What I'm kind of hoping is that maybe we can get into this bush here. And then maybe get some bleeds out. Because we should still be able to shoot them if they get spotted. Um, ELC's not really a problem right now. So let's just move up. There you go. Okay. Yeah, this spot should be fine. If our Bisante gets some uh, spots out, we should be able to hit some of these guys here. So let's find out. There's the Astron. There you go. One shell into his vehicle. Two shells into his tank. And there you go. That is uh, 684 health off the Astron. Okay, not a bad result. As we can see, the spots... It's basically the next best thing we can work. Um, because of the fact that that T26E4 is off to the side. Okay, let's see. Not able to hit the Astron. g is bailing. We do have a Super Pershing off to the side, but not something I'm really worried about right now. I'm not really sure why the ELC went over to where the Super Pershing is. That's a really weird spot to choose to go. Got the uh, SU. I'm not going to shoot at that right now. I, I don't really think we can hit that. Stritzvon. Can't hit the Super Pershing. Maybe we can get one of these guys in the crossing. No, not as of yet. Oh, okay. So we can definitely... Never mind. I was hoping we could hit that, but I guess not. Okay. Okay, ELC moved up, which means I should be able to move up now. Let's see. I'm gonna try and maneuver my way into this bush here. 
Hopefully we're not spotted. Okay, we're not. Good. Alright, if that SU-130 gets detected, we're gonna miss the first shell, because I guess that's my RNG. Come on, move up. There you go. At least we got one of them out. That's 368 damage into his vehicle, and now we back on up. Okay, not bad. Super Pershing's gonna die, which means all that's left are these guys over here. So we're gonna move up. We're gonna see if we can help out. Let's see. Shouldn't be spotted by the uh, Super Pershing anymore. Nope, unfortunate. Ah, well, that works too. Alright, let's reload. 18 seconds, and then we should be able to get some good bonks. We've got the enemy Shrek, who is holding. And I don't think we should be spotted right now. We just gotta wait 7 more seconds, then we're gonna plop on over this ridge and hopefully get some bonks. Here we go, and... There's one bounce that made literally zero sense. Well, at least we got one pen out, but don't like this. I I do not like this, I'm going to be honest. That uh, Stritzvon's camping in the back. Little lame. All right. Ooh, that's a lot of death. Okay. Right now, I'm hoping we can kill the Artie. Come on. Three, two, one. No clue if that hit. Absolutely no clue. I'm gonna see if we can get that uh, Stritzvon. No, we're not able to. Not from this angle. Alright, let's just uh, drive over a little bit. We should be able to hit the uh, ISU. There you go. Nice shot. We're not spotted. Oh no, we are, but it's fine. Shouldn't be too much of a worry. This is a win anyway. Alright. Ah, we didn't hit the Lorraine. Unfortunate. I mean, dude's dead anyway. Let's head over towards the... Uh... Maybe he's not. Okay, no, he is. I mean, this is a win anyway. I did not realize we were going to get that much air. I was worried we were going to die for a second. But yeah, this was an alright game. I could have done the ending bit a little bit better, but I didn't think our team was just going to steamroll through them all. All that's left is the enemy IS-3 over here, which I don't think we're able to pen at this angle, so we're just going to have to push up, I guess. Let's see. I probably should have loaded premium, but the dude's got four health. Even if he kills me, I could seriously care less. Artie almost killed him as it is. Watch this. Hooah! Yeah! I'm not too surprised that we penned him, but I know the IS-3's armor is literally like 190-200 on the frontal plate, so that was like a 50-50 there. Not too bad at all. 2,444 damage, we got some early game bleeds, we were able to push our opponents off and uh, get some pretty easy uh, easy dubs. So yeah, I, I think the Baraska is pretty dang busted, to be honest. That felt like taking candy from a baby, and if we had played that a bit better, we easily could have done 3,000, but hey, we still did second on the team, so I really don't have any complaints. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the uh, Barask. But if you think it's bad, that's just wrong. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.